You ever had one of those locos that just refuses to be fixed? Call me a glutton for punishment, but I'm going to try again. Hello, YouTubes. Welcome to Fix It Friday, which is kind of like Tune Up Tuesday, but more focused on repairs. So today I have an Alco C630 or Super 630. It's kind of ugly, but I like it. You can probably tell it's got a gear problem. I sort of know what it is, I just haven't been able to fix it. So let's take the cover off, dive in, see what we can do about this. So this is an old Mantua Tyco model. Really not my favourite design at all. It's got six traction tyres on one side, one pancake motor, picks up power from this side, negative from that side. I don't even know if the, the shell comes off, which is crazy because I've already been into this thing, but I think I blocked it out of my memory because it was such a nightmare. I've got a feeling this is just holding the weight in, but it also might mean that I can't I can't flex it apart until I remove this, so we'll take this off anyway. You also notice it's missing its fuel tank, but I have actually 3D printed one that I kind of made up, bodged together. Okay, so it looks like all we have to do is stretch the sides out to get these trucks out. There seems to be tabs there and there, there and there, which I think are holding the truck in. I'm not being super careful because I don't I don't care that much about this anymore because it's given me so much grief. Let's see if we can push this tab in. Doesn't want to go in. You know what? Let's not bother with the back one because it's fine. It's the front one with the motor that I need to check. If I'm going to break anything, I might as well break the side I'm working on, right? So the back comes out okay because I can lever that apart, but the front is very close to the front, obviously. Ah, there we go. Oh, do I really need to disc? Oh my goodness. You notice that the wires are soldered onto these tabs and there's rivets or something. I don't even see, I don't even know if I can get them out without breaking it. So I think we'll just try and do this in situ. So I will try and explain what the problem is then. This gear here is what is turning all the wheels, this big plastic gear. And it's connected to this little brass gear, which is fine. And there's not actually any teeth missing in this gear. But the problem is, as soon as it gets some power, this gear actually rises up like that. And it doesn't make contact with the wheels. Because there's nothing to stop it from, from going out crazy like that. So what I'm thinking of doing is, hopefully... If that is a metal axle that this gear is on, which I could probably just pop out, to be honest. Maybe not. Probably need to take the wheels off. Let's do that first, and then I'll give you a better idea of what my plan is. And I have checked these gears on the wheels, and they're out. they all seem to be in fine condition. So they are not the problem. The problem is this annoying gear. As I say, there's nothing to stop it from just rising up and flopping about. See that? And because it's rising up, it's no longer making contact with the, the gears and the wheels. So, cunning plan then, if it works. Of course, now it doesn't want to come out. This little shaft here, if that is metal, which I do believe it is, 
and it is a rigid wheel it doesn't it, sorry it's a rigid shaft it doesn't spin if i can clean that up and then solder on a blob of solder put the gear on and then heat up the solder so that it spreads out and hopefully prevents the gear from rising this way it's a crazy idea but it might just work right let me up the solder now and see if this works well that's heating up we'll just give this shaft a little clean actually you know what i think i'll take that gear out for now just in case we cause more harm than good okay clean this so place your bets do you think this is going to work or is it a completely ridiculous idea it's got to be worth a shot i mean it's such a terrible design it's I'm wondering if, if this shaft is actually supposed to be it's kind of mushroomed at the top to prevent that gear from rising up. I really can't think of any other reason or, or any other way that that gear wouldn't just fall out. Right. Ah, let's give it a go. Stick a bit of flux in there. Or a ton of flux, apparently really only looking for a tiny little blob bear in mind at the moment it can't be wider than the shaft because then i won't get the gear on and i don't want to do this without i don't want to do this with the gear on at the moment because then i'll end up just melting the gear uh, where's my where's my solder there right let's heat this up Well, the good news is, it's definitely metal, because if that was plastic, it'd be gone. <laughs> nope, failed. It's on the side. I don't want it on the side. I want it on the top. I'm going to have to get this quite hot. Right, I've got a nice little pointy bit on top. So let's put the gear in. Uh, let's make sure we put the other one in first. That could have been a disaster. Alright, let's see if we can get this in. And it's just broken off my, my little nodule. Right, plan B. Let's see if we can just solder right on top. But if I don't get something attached to that little shaft, then it's not going to work. melting the plastic. Fail. Let's get this off again. Well, it's still usable. You know what? I've just realised what's happening. Because it's so close to the magnet, it's forcing the flux, it's forcing the solder away from this shaft. That's highly annoying.
Right, I've got another bit on. Right, behave this time. Don't knock off my little bit of flux. Mm. I mean, I don't need it to go all the way around. It just needs to be wider than the shaft when it melts. Yeah, I don't think that's... Oh, it might... That might be enough. Let me put this back in there and try it on the track. Anyone remember how we get this in? Oh, I suppose I should put the wheels on here. Eh? This only goes on one way because of that screw. Actually easier to get in than it was to get out. Right, I'm going to try it before I put this weight back on. See if it's helped at all. Goodness, it really needs that weight. It's so light. Right, let's give it some power. Well, it's trying to go, but I think I might have, you know, melted the plastic a little bit. But I think if it frees up, it'll probably be okay. Let me give it a shove. There it goes. Just wear down that plastic a wee bit. Let's see if it comes back. Forward. <laughs> I'm a genius. Right, let me let me get it back to the bench, we'll finish up. Let's get the weight back in. Couple of screws. Of course, who knows how long this will last before that little blob of solder falls off, but you know what? If I didn't do that. This thing would just sit on the shelf for the rest of its life and I would just look at it and go, ugh, you know, I'd just be annoyed because I think this cost me $30 and the guy at the show said it ran well. Liar. So all we need then is a fuel tank. As I say, I printed this on my 3D printer. I had to manipulate it a bit. I kind of just... Made it from a little rectangle and rounded it off, but I cut some slots in it and now it fits in. Not bad at all, actually. Like so. Obviously, it's not exactly highly detailed or at all detailed, but it just fills that gap, makes it look a bit less goofy. Right, see how it runs around the track now with a bit of weight. I might even grab some super glue and straighten these vertical rail stanchion thingamajigs. We'll see, we'll see how well it behaves in the track now. Right, are you gonna behave? Or are you gonna live in a shelf? Or even worse, the parts bin. Mm, a little bit choppy, but it might just need some traction tires.
I'm not sure if I can get it any better. If you've got any bright ideas on how I can repair that, I think, as I say, it's, once that gear goes on, it's supposed to be a sort of, the shaft, I think, is supposed to be expanded a little bit, but there's no room to do that. I could try and put a little washer on and solder the washer over, rather than just relying on the solder. I don't know. Might just shelf it for now and see if I can get some spare parts at the next uh, trade show. Because as much as it's kind of ugly, I do like it. Thanks for watching. See you next Friday. Hopefully I'll be able to repair something a bit better than that. Bye for now.